Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my um, usage of the Nokia television after say about 9 to 10 days. I've had this television for almost 10 days now. I've used it extensively. And um, how does it perform now after the system update? So there are a few things that we will check out. And the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the boot time. So let's switch the television on and see what the boot times are like post the system update. Now the system update was quite a big one. It was a significant update. Um, and post the update, a lot of the issues, you know, that customers were facing have actually been sorted. So some of those issues was number one, the internet issue. Um, number two was the audio sync issue. Number three, some people complained about the casting issues. Number four, some people complained about the audio output issue as well. So we're going to take a look at all those issues in detail and see how this television now performs post the system update. And um, it's now almost one minute since the television has been switched on. And um, so the television boots up in say about less than a minute's time. So there's, these are just uh, the satellite television, you know, options that you get. You just want to click on the home button and uh, you'd be fine. So uh, now the television has been switched on. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is going to be the internet issue, whether or not we are facing the same internet issue or not. So let's first check that out. So we're going to go into settings. And we're going to check the settings now. So I click on settings and I go over to the network and here it says connected. So I did not have the problem of the date and time again. Now, please note that prior to this, I always had to go over to device preferences and change my date and time. But now it's taking the network provided time here. So I do not have any issues. The set date, as you can see, is October 28th, which is today as I'm recording this video and the time is 12, 12 p.m. and I have no issues whatsoever with the internet. I do not have to set the date and time every single time I log on. So kudos to Nokia, this problem has been fixed via the system update. Now the second thing that we're going to take a look at is the video quality and if there are any audio sync issues, well there is a fast cast uh, app uh, update also happening in the background. But let's take a look at a few of the videos on YouTube and check out if the audio sync issues exist or not. We are also going to go over to Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Hotstar quickly to check if the audio synchronization issue has been fixed or not. So let's do that. Let's log in into YouTube. And uh, this is how long it takes to log into the YouTube. Again, like I said in my previous video as well, if you haven't already seen that, I'm just going to put a link somewhere out here and um, show you that uh, my internet connectivity is not very great in my bedroom. Um, I go over to my videos and I'm going to go over to a video where you'll be able to see what I'm saying. So uh, let's say I go into this particular video and... Uh, hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. Now I hope you are safe, I hope you are at home and enjoying quality time with your families. Now, at the time of making this video, we are on day 5 of the 21-day lockdown here in India. And uh, this video is going to be very different to the other ones that I make on my channel because... So, as you can see, there is no problem with the audio synchronization whatsoever. I'm quickly going to hop over to Netflix as well to show you that there are no issues with the audio sync. Uh, oops, just clicked on the apps, clicking on Netflix here again. And uh, I'm gonna go over to, let's say any video, you know, just we won't be able to play it for long because of copyright issues. But uh, again, just wanna show how well it plays these videos now. Okay, I'm gonna move over to a area where they have close-up shots where people are talking. So. You've always been an A student, Paige. Which is why your midterm results have me a bit perplexed. What happened? 
Grayson broke up with me. <sighs> so there are no issues with Netflix. Uh, we're quickly gonna hop over to Prime Video as well. And I'm just gonna show you a quick video here. And again, these are the load times that it generally takes for any application to load up. So you get an idea of how long it takes. I have not edited any of this so that you get the real picture of how long apps take to load. I'm just going to show you a trailer perhaps, um, not the video. So I don't think you know we're going to have much of an issue here in terms of showing a trailer. <laughs> They came down on the beach. Just a handful of left. You should handle the whole group. There were 10 survivors of Flight 117. What if you first realized that? So again, there something... is no issue with uh, the audio sync. The audio sync works absolutely fine. And just moving over to Hotstar again quickly, very quickly, so that you have an idea of how all of these apps perform and how long do these apps take to load? So Hotstar was relatively faster. And as you can see, it hardly took any time to load. It was really quick. So I'm just gonna move over to this movie here. Just click on it very quickly. Okay, in terms of any casting issues, uh, well, just want to make sure that, you know, we don't have any casting issues. I'm quickly going to go over to the uh, uh, casting of my iPad over to this. You can cast your Android phone, you can cast your iPhone. Right now I'm recording via my iPhone, so obviously I can't cast, uh, you know, my iPhone over to the screen. But I'm just going to show you an example. There's this application called Fast Cast, and uh, all you got to do is just go over to your TV and open the Fastcast app on the TV. And as you can see, it says that you can do a Chromecast through these applications. You can do an iPhone screen share and you can cast your um, Android phone as well using the QR, QR code in there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start sharing my iPad screen. So I have my iPad and uh, I'm gonna start casting it over to my television. So on your iPhone or iPad, you will have an option called screen mirroring. When you click on it, you will get an option called Fastcast app. And uh, as you can see, it now is casting my iPad. No problem whatsoever. And uh, there is a slight bit of a delay. That delay could be because of the internet. My internet is not very fast. I just get about say about 15 to uh, 16 Mbps in this room. But uh, as you can see, the casting works fine and uh, there are no issues whatsoever. If I go over to any of the uh, apps, I can go into any of the apps. If I go over to a game, then the game opens up as well, no problem whatsoever. So the game opened up, no problem whatsoever. So all of these applications, you know, work in a jiffy. Uh, of course, you know, barring the slight or minimal lag. Oops, I was just, you know, turning my iPad screen. So that's why, you know, you had that, but uh, yeah, it works fine. So it's not just your iPad that you can cast. You can cast your iPhone, you can cast your Android phone, all work fine. And in fact, if you want to cast directly from any of the applications like Prime Video, YouTube, or uh, from your uh, Netflix app on your mobile phone, then even that works without any issues, no problems whatsoever. I have now seen a couple of videos, a couple of movies in fact, on Prime Video um, by casting it from my mobile phone over to this television. And uh, for the entire length of both those movies, 
I faced no issues whatsoever. So it worked perfectly fine. So just wanted to uh, you know let you know that this is how the casting issues, if you have faced any, they, even they have been fixed post the system update. Okay, now a lot of people also complain about the audio output issue. Now, um, the quick feedback to that would be yes, the audio output in terms of the uh, volume has definitely reduced prior to the update. Prior to the update, the audio output was very loud. But even after the system update has happened, the audio quality, in my opinion, is quite satisfactory. In fact, the one thing that has changed is, uh, you know, prior to the update, when you had uh, this volume, um, uh, you know, percentage that you were setting, then even if you had set your volume at 25%, the sound output would be as good as 60 to 70%. So it would not matter where you have kept the, uh, you know, toggle, whether it's on 25% or whether it's on 70%, the sound output would be more or less the same, but they have actually fixed that, you know, post the update. Post the update now, uh, what I've noticed is if it's at 25%, it's more or less 25% volume output. If it's at, if it's at 70%, then it's 70% uh, volume output. I'm just gonna play one audio file. In fact, I'm gonna play an acoustic track just to give you an idea of how good it is. As you can see, when you reduce the volume, now it does not have an issue. If it's at like 15 to 20%, it actually outputs 15 to 20%. But earlier, even at 15 to 20%, you would have a sound output of around 60%. But now that has changed. problem whatsoever when it comes to the audio output the audio output is still extremely good in fact you would not need external speakers you know with this television because i believe the audio output is more than satisfactory it's in fact outstanding if you're watching movies you know there are different settings that you can go to and you can set the audio um you know output as per your preference so there are many modes that you can select from like sports standard cinema uh, i have personally kept it at sports um, because I prefer this uh, particular setting, but the beauty is that you can even set the equalizer as per your preference. So that's another good thing about this television. So I think, you know, I, uh, I would want to mention that in terms of audio output, this television is outstanding and uh, it offers great value for money when it comes to the audio output. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so one of the other things that some people asked me in uh, my comments in my previous video, uh, that I made on the Nokia 50 inch uh, 4K UHD is that how do the uh, uh, movies or any videos work from the pen drive if you have connected a pen drive they work seamlessly uh, bottom line is there are no such issues in fact I have this video which is now playing uh, through a pen drive that I've connected and both the pen drive ports there are two USB ports uh, where you can uh, plug in your hard drive or your pen drive I have currently connected a 64 uh, GB pen drive an HP pen drive over to one of the USB ports and this movie is currently being played through that pen drive so it works absolutely fine no issues whatsoever and as you can see no problems whatsoever so you will not have any issues I do have to mention one thing though you know the one thing that I did notice uh, when I connected a pair of Bluetooth headsets now uh, the thing that I want to say is generally there is no issue when I connect a Bluetooth headset if I'm watching videos on YouTube or if I'm watching videos on any of the um, OTT um, you know apps like Netflix or Prime Video. There is no issue with the videos or um, audio synchronization as you could say. But when I did connect my Bluetooth headset, uh, I tried connecting my OnePlus uh, Buds headset and even my Altec Lansing Roy. Uh, just so that you know what are the headsets that I connected. Now, uh, what I did face is when I was playing videos um, through the pen drive, there was still an audio synchronization issue. 
So the audio and video were not in sync. So I did face that problem and that problem still exists, but it only exists for um, videos played through your pen drive. For all other videos, YouTube, Netflix, Prime or Disney Plus Hotstar, there are no issues whatsoever. So there is no audio sync issue only through the pen drive. So just thought that, you know, I would let you know, hopefully uh, they will have a fix for this um, through a system update that we get in the future. And uh, Nokia is quite good with the system updates, uh, whether it's your mobile phone or whether it's your television, they regularly update their um, uh, operating systems. In fact, they are um, positively known for their system updates, uh, especially for their mobile phones. In fact, they rank number one for the mobile phones in terms of system update, which puts them even before OnePlus phones. OnePlus comes after Nokia in terms of system updates. So that's how good they are with their system updates on their mobile phones. And hopefully even with their televisions, they will have regular system updates, which will fix these issues. Now, all the issues that we've seen have been fixed through the system update. So the last system update was really, really good. Um, it fixed all the problems as you can see in the video and um, compared to my previous video this tv has now come a long way i have no such issues with the television it works seamlessly and the question is would i recommend this television to people um, then my answer is yes for the price uh, to value uh, ratio that it offers it is extremely good I personally purchased this television for around 3499 um, on the big billion um, you know, Flipkart sale and um, I exchanged my old Micromax television for which I got around 6750 rupees. So in total, I only paid 25,000 for this 50 inch television and that is a significant value for money. And just a piece of advice, if you are purchasing this television, then please do also purchase their three years complete coverage. Because what this means is that even if you sell this television in three years time, you will at least get 30% of the television value, which in itself makes it a great deal. Uh, so make sure that you know select that option while you're purchasing this television and go in for the three year complete coverage that Flipkart offers. So uh, I hope we've been able to cover a lot of issues um, you know that we faced with Nokia television in my previous video. And again, let me tell you all of them have been fixed. I am extremely satisfied with this television the way it is right now, the way it functions. No issues whatsoever. Video quality is excellent for this price. Audio quality is outstanding for this price. The OS is just like any other operating system. Well, I would have preferred, you know, certain options like translucent screens when you're changing the settings, but hey, I'm just nitpicking right now. Uh, apart from all these uh, nitpicky issues, I think at the basic level, the television performs um, excellently and you will not be disappointed uh, at this price point. So I hope you've liked this video again. If you've liked it, please make sure that you uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It takes a lot of effort to make these videos. So I would really appreciate and it would mean a lot if you could hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have friends and family members who are planning to buy a television anytime soon, uh, please do share this video with them so that it could help them in their decision um, while they are planning to purchase. So please make sure um, that you um, Keep sharing it with your friends and family members as well. And uh, until the next one, um, this is uh, goodbye and God bless from me. Take care, folks.